Glazing is essentially a very simple process. These have been biscuit fired now. You can tell they're biscuit fired because they're a pinky colour. All of the ferric iron oxide, black iron oxide of the clay, has converted to ferrous iron oxide, um, which is red. So what we get here is a slightly pink colour as opposed to the browny grey of the clay. These are waiting to be done. These are waiting to be done. And these have already been done. What you do, as I say, very simple. Take hold of the mug from the top of the handle in the base. Dip it into the liquid glaze. Like that. Invert it. Shake it well. Take it over the top and using the spare glaze which is on your finger just touch up the scar where your finger went. Then take hold of the next one into the glaze drain it off turn it over put it down and again using the spare glaze on your finger just touch up the scar and so on until you've finished. Of course, having glazed up the thing all over, there is now the problem that the base is covered and there's nowhere for it to stand. So you have to take a knife and scrape carefully all of the glaze off. And sadly, this is all waste. I used to save it, but it unfortunately, because it loses some of the soluble salts in the glaze, it alters the balance of the glaze and you end up with a different glaze altogether. So that is all waste I'm afraid. And then with a sponge and water, clean the base to that nice sharp edge that I left earlier when I did the turning and the name is showing in the glaze there as well. So that's nice and clean. clean the board so that it doesn't pick any more dirt up and then you're ready for the next one. Hello again. Well this bit's quite simple really. The glaze was put on. We now have to put on the iron oxide which is this liquid brown colour. It's uh, ferrous iron oxide that's been uh, mixed with water. We spin the pot. You then brush the iron onto it. A little bit wobbly because my hand isn't as steady as it used to be but that will all meld in and put on the blue colour which is cobalt carbonate and that's as simple as it is I do that over and over again and this evening they'll all be in the kiln firing <laughs>